Hey there, hello everybody. I'm back. Um, doing another quick video here because the last one had like five minutes of explanation before I actually started running it. This time I'm going to take about a minute. Hope, try. That quick explain that we got like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty-one batteries. I know they're all used, so they're definitely not nine volts each. But with 21 batteries, I think the uh, meter is in the screen. As long as I'm not getting in the way of the light, uh, we're measuring 163.5 volts before I start. All right, here we go. So beforehand, 100. Maybe I should wrote that down, but I don't have a pen on me, so I'm not going to worry about it now. Ready, set, go. And look at it go. Okay, while running, get out of the light, down 140, I've jumped up to 150 there, a little spike, I'm not going to go too long on this one. I just want to give uh, people be able to see it run. What if I got 100 and some odd volts on here? So the more voltage, the better. According to Newman, we want voltage. So I got, that's why I put so many batteries on here. Now we can try this, going across the coil here. What kind of readings we get? Well, it's fluctuating a little too much for our DC reading. Uh, if we go to like a, an AC reading, because with this met with magnets in there, it will generate some AC. Now I'm generating about well, 22 volts there. Okay, now well, I don't want to take too much of your time. I want to show it off that all that old voltage, it starts off spinning real good. Seems it'll slow down just a, a tad. <coughs> Not sure what else I can show you. But it's a working Newman motor. Spinning quite good. I'll have to do that later. All right, we'll call it good there. Not sure how long this went. And I'm now getting the battery low symbol, so I guess this will be a good time to call it good. See y'all later. Thank you for watching.